Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my sister and I'm going to show you how to achieve uh, this 60s look inspired to the singer Adele, which is one of my favorite singers as well and I always love the makeup she has. I hope you like it and I'll leave you to the tutorial. start I already prepped my skin and I'm gonna prime the eyelid with uh, this shadow insurance by Too Faced and now I'm using a white pencil this is one from MAC in the color fascinating and I'm gonna apply it as a base on the eyelid so it's gonna make our eyeshadow more intense and bright For my eyeshadow palette I'm gonna take this matte pink and I'm gonna apply it onto the eyelids and you can do as always different layers to build the color up Once you have reached the intensity of color you want, we're gonna start building the crease and I'm gonna take this warm brown from my eyeshadow palette on a soft blending brush and apply it into the crease, remove the excess on the tissue and use the same brush to blend the color. intensity to the eyes I'm gonna now take this very dark matte brown always from the eyeshadow palette and on a bullet crease brush I'm gonna apply just in the end of the eyes and keeping a v-shape and once you apply it swap to the blending brush and blend the colors together I'm gonna bring the dark brown eyeshadow also under the eyes and now I'm gonna use Vanilla from MAC as an highlighter under the brow bone and this is a lovely color to highlight this area I always use it in loads of my makeup Moving on to brows I'm gonna comb them and then I'm gonna give shape I'm using a sleek brow kit in the color dark so I'm gonna give shape to the brows with the creamy part and then I'm gonna fix everything with the powder. and I'm using a Shrimura eyelash colors and I'm gonna apply a gel liner this is a gel liner from Maybelline in the color black on a small eyeliner brush so starting from the inner corner I'm bringing the line outwards and be really careful when you do the eyeliner because obviously you don't want to mess up so build the color little by little and when you arrive in the outer edge after I do the line on the eyes I go into the outside corner so from the outside corner of the eye bring the line up and then join it to the rest of the line 
so this way you make a kind of triangle and then you can color it inside and you got a nice flick. your aligner even more perfect or if you do any mistake use a cotton bud dipped in moisturizer and then you can also use the end of your brush to make it very pointed now I'm gonna use an essence uh, waterproof eyeliner this is a liquid liner and I always go on the top of the gel one because it makes the color more intense and we can have really precise edges in this way Apply a coat of mascara on top and bottom lashes. some fake eyelashes from Amazing Shine with some duo blue. Under the eyes, I'm using the MAC uh, Studio Finish in the number NT20. So I'm gonna really blend it under the eyes and then I'm gonna cover all the imperfections on the face. I'm gonna mix L'Oreal Pro Match in the color beige and the L'Oreal BB Cream in the fair color because I want a really dewy look and um, very fresh face. So I'm gonna buff everything into the skin. the base is finished I'm gonna fix it with some luxury powder from the nine color banana a little bit of face and sculpt it. I'm gonna use a bronzer by Bourgeois and I'm gonna sculpt the face so I'm gonna apply the color on the top of the cheeks and a little bit under the jawline and into the temples and on the forehead and I'm also gonna contour the nose so I'm gonna apply a little bit on the sides of the nose uh, blending it towards the brows I'm gonna apply 
apply a blush from Ben Nye in the color Dusty Pink, which is a nice matte pink um, blush, and I'm gonna apply into the center of the cheeks, blending it upwards. As a lipstick, I'm gonna use the LC201 from my Krylon palette, which is a very beautiful matte pink lipstick, and you can use it for all the 60s look, and I don't know, I just love this color, it's very fresh and I love the pastels tone. So this was my sister before and that's after the transformation. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thank you for your time watching and I'll see you to the next one. Bye bye!